Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where a police officer goes on a power trip and loses his mind over a cigarette, and then arrests an innocent girl for a bogus reason. On August 25, 2023, two officers with the Eustis Police Department in Florida pulled a red vehicle over for an alleged traffic violation. Even though it's unclear whether the initial traffic stop was lawful or not, this encounter is more about the passengers of the vehicle, so we can give the officers the benefit of the doubt and assume that the initial detention was legal. Keeping that in mind, we're about to review the body cam footage from one of the two officers, but note that the second officer, whose body cam was mysteriously not running, is the main focus here, since he is about to absolutely lose it, as you're about to see. How are we doing, guys? <laughs> you have yours, boss? Hey, boss, right here. You have your ID with you? Really quickly before we proceed, there's one crucial point worth discussing here. If you didn't catch it, the first officer who was initially speaking to the driver of the vehicle just asked one of the passengers to provide him with ID. And following this, the second officer, whose footage we're looking at, also did the same, asking the other passenger for ID. First and foremost, it's not illegal for the officers to ask for ID. They can ask for anything they want. But the passengers, on the other hand, had every right to refuse this request, thanks to the Fourth Amendment, which is the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. It's also worth noting that if you're a passenger and the police lack a reasonable basis to think you have engaged in illegal activity, you have the legal right to decline to provide identification. The term reasonable suspicion here means the police must genuinely believe you have been involved in or are planning a criminal act. Now listen closely as we come to realize why exactly the officer was trying to pull the passenger out of the vehicle. Even though it's rather tough to hear exactly what was being said, the main point became clear. The officer was ordering the passenger to show ID just because he flicked his cigarette ash out the window. Note that it wasn't a request to show ID anymore, it was a firm order this time. Let's see what happened next. It's utterly unbelievable. Sir, you see this, right? Hey, just hold on, bro. Hey, y'all. Step out. Step out. Sir, please report yourself. Do you see this? Watch them. Watch them. Are you serious right now? Hey, boss, stay in the car. Hey, stay in the car. Stay in the car. You didn't have to come here, guys. Just stay still. We're good. Nobody else move. You violently assaulted me, bro. I didn't even know. Come on, man. Come on, man. You violently assaulted me. 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 You here, here no, we are. Boom. We'll get you up. All right, boss. I don't need these. Yeah, don't need these, bro. Okay, I'm just turning your side. There you go. All right, you ready? Step up. Step up. Ashley, you want to put your pants up for you real quick? Yeah. we will go over to my car, okay? You, you want grab my, car? my cigarettes for me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, you That's fine. Cigarettes. Come on. Where are you going? Where are That's fine. No, I know. Fine, just stand right here. Bro. No, you move it sounds ridiculous, you just gotta listen to boss. sound ridiculous, he still didn't have rights to pull me That's out of the car like that and slam me on the ground, bro, period. You know you're You know you're You know you are, bro. That was not legal. 
this that was not legal. Hey, no, it was not. Help. This isn't gonna help. Bro. Just talk to me. Talk to me. As seen in the footage, the first officer forcefully yanked the passenger door open and subsequently pulled him out in a violent and aggressive manner before throwing him to the ground face first and placing him in handcuffs. It goes without saying that this was completely uncalled for and a blatant abuse of authority. Under Florida law, if you're a passenger during a traffic stop, the police have the authority to temporarily restrict your movement, essentially seizing you but they can't conduct a search without reasonable grounds to believe that a new crime has occurred. Furthermore, you can inquire whether you're free to leave at any moment, and the officers might very well permit you to go. In addition, the law permits police to remove passengers from a vehicle if there's a valid reason to do so, such as suspicion of a crime beyond the initial traffic offense. Judging by this, we come to one conclusion. The officers' actions were completely unconstitutional since he had absolutely no valid reason to remove the passenger from the vehicle, and definitely not with such force. Speaking of which, the second officer even pulled out his firearm and pointed it directly at the other occupants of the vehicle, escalating the ordeal even further. Lastly, the fact that the second officer left a rather concerning remark, saying that he knows how the first officer can be, leaves us wondering what else was done in the past. These remarks don't stop here though, so pay attention ahead. Man, look how I look my hands. Let me see how tight it is. Here. Here, hold your hands like you're. Oh, I see. Okay. We'll adjust it's it one right, second. Right, but... I have to wait till I have another unit here. But I'm going to fix your hands, okay? So I know I see that. That's uncomfortable right there. You got a problem? This we got to talk to. Then we pull it up. Sergeant. I'm sorry, it's all on video. Now? Man, I okay. need to talk to somebody. To I'm not. I'm not. John I'm not Doe. talking to you. I need to talk to somebody else. I need to talk to somebody else, man. Listen, bro, that was not right. That was I not right. That's times. not right. Listen, for asking a sick are you man, bro, listen to what I have you to say. You could easily gave us someone. Let's go on. No, I was going to give you warning, but you wrong. have to identify yourself. You did yourself. nothing wrong. You want to identify myself for asking out a window? For asking out a window, dude. Come on, man. Y'all need to call somebody, bro. You gonna book me on asking a cigarette, bro? And that makes your day better, dog. I'm supposed to see my kids today, bro. What the? Man, and I, you got the ID, man. And that's for what? For what? Okay. For what? Resisting. Resisting? I'm going for, sir. Not complying. Dude. Not complying. I did not resist. I asked him, what did I do wrong, sir? What's your name, man? All I asked him, my name is Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Listen, sir. He has it all on video. All I asked him was, what I did wrong. I want. I've never heard asking out of a window is a misdemeanor. And then now he's telling me I'm going for resisting arrest. I, all I wanted to say was I wanted to talk to him, sir, and my whole my whole 24 is living, sir, I've not heard that. I did not try to resist this man. I did not I snatch from him. This is a good time to clarify whether the act of ashing a cigarette out the window is a crime. Note that Florida Statute 590.10 addresses the disposal of lighted substances saying it is unlawful for any person to throw, drop, or dispose of a lighted match, cigarette, cigar, ashes, or other flaming or glowing substance, or any substance or thing which may or does cause a wildfire. Anyone who violates this section commits a misdemeanor of the first degree. In simple words, it is indeed a misdemeanor to ash a cigarette out on the road, and that's completely understandable. Nobody's arguing whether this was a crime or not. The main issue is the fact that the officer abused his authority by pulling the passenger out and then proceeded to use excessive force by throwing him to the ground. Speaking of excessive force, we'll quote a section from FloridaJustice.com. A law enforcement officer has the right to use such force as is reasonably necessary under the circumstances to make a lawful arrest. An unreasonable seizure occurs when a law enforcement officer uses excessive force in making a lawful arrest. Excessive force is defined as using force that is not reasonable or which is excessive given the circumstances of the situation. Many police officers are trained that force should be applied in incremental steps, like starting with respectful requests and elevating as necessary. It's also a common practice to use the same amount of force towards a suspect that the suspect is using towards the officer. However, we have seen instances of abuse of power where law enforcement is causing great bodily harm or serious injury to a person. This is improper. Clearly, this applies to the current situation. 
No logical individual would claim that the officer's use of force was rational in this case, since the passenger did not resist, did not fight back, did not threaten anyone's safety, and did absolutely nothing. Yet, he was now being charged with resisting arrest, which is simply outrageous. I just want to tell you something, don't you? You should you are just about the right? car, right? Every right. Uh, I don't care. You're a friend. fine. Yeah. Huh? That was fast. More dope? Okay. Yeah. What happened? Mm -hmm. Alma? Here's a pain to change. Turn around. Why are you detained? Turn around and face the car real quick. I don't know, man. Just for now, if there's five then it'll be good. Why are we being detained? That's right, you can, you can lean on the car real quick. Like, why are we being detained? We found drugs. What so drugs? we figure out whose it is and everything. Hey, um, if it's not y'all, it's y'all be good, and y'all be on your way. What drugs did you find? Why? I wasn't there. I've been here with you the whole time. Bro, like, why, like, bro, there's nothing in that car. There's nothing in the car. Yeah, I can lie. You got a body cam on? We both do. They were active the whole time. Yeah. You know, right. After this, after today, you can request it. Alright. Bruh, you act like it's against the law to flick the clean. That's crazy. He already told us it's not against the law to flick his ash out the window. Yes, you lie like a bitch. He told us you told you. You're a supervisor, nigga. You know what? You know what I'll have to show you? When I'm done doing what I'm doing, I will pull up the statute and I will show it. What else you pulled over this week for flicking? It doesn't matter. Exactly. Also, I need everybody's yeah. name, because now exactly. you are... I already gave him my ID. He already no, ran my ID. I'm not being under... I'm not You're, under arrest. And if you refuse to identify yourself, you won't you go to jail. It to, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Already ran well, my where are the drugs you found first? You gotta, like... You know I don't what I'm have to show you. I don't have to do nothing. So you're telling you me that we're arrested for drugs, but you won't shut up. Oh, this guy found This thing doesn't want to come and try to talk about some shut up. Like, I gotta listen to you. I got freedom of speech, right? I ain't gonna lie, I am gonna get a law school. It's like a fucking, like, shit like this happening, because y'all gonna fucking law stupid as hell. Y'all already up by pulling him out of the car with no reason and slamming him on the floor. All y'all motherfuckers gonna go to court about this shit, so. Y'all motherfuckers. You back him, that's y'all fault. You should have picked on the motherfuckers. They know they lost. They lost. You finna hit the police station right after this. Oh, yeah. Five for all the body cams. I don't give a fuck what happened. This is going all over. All over TikTok. I'm a rapper out here. This is going viral, crazy. W. Perry and. What's your name? What's your name? You asking our names. Williams. Hey, Williams. Back to the line, he pull this one out of all y'all. He over there trying to get the out of the Crazy. Hey, bro, you can't like, like. Bro, hey, you just, bro, you can't do that. I'm not under arrest. Put that back in my pocket. Hey, bro, he, again, again. Hey. He ain't doing shit. Tell him to put that shit back in my pocket. So just chill, man. Chill. Bro, Kind of shit in bro, like honestly, yeah. like it's like literally, bro. Y'all, the car probably got hit because I smoked weed in the car. I got my medical marijuana. How does it alert to the odor of marijuana? Yeah, the yeah, odor well, of marijuana, nigga. I got, my medical, car, I got my medical car, bro. I got my medical car. Shut up. Put him in the back. You yeah. didn't get no. Put they, 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 they both need to be searched. Hey, I told you to be quiet, dude. You're not making this easier. Now you get to sit in the back seat. Well, you mean, I'm using my ID. Before they try to do anything, we gotta watch that video, bro. And and, and you at least, man, because at least tell him that. You, you know what really come happened. Come on, bro. Like, I know that you have to work with this man, whatever, dude, and it's like, it's you know just, what I'm saying? But, you, you should know bro, that he judged like, him based on based on his face tattoos and everything. That was an instant. Well, I'll tell you, we, can we, say, we got a call. Did, we got a call about y'all. That's why we checked out in the first place, and then we saw I'm sorry, it. I'm yeah, that, that, that I've been able to deal with officers reasonably, bro. Because we were sitting at the park? Someone said they saw... Deal. A narcotic deal. That's just what we were, we were called in. What? Well, yeah, that was the reason for the stop. At this point, we finally get to learn the reason for the traffic stop. Someone had called 911 assuming that there was a narcotics deal going on in a park these individuals were at earlier. This, in and of itself, is rather controversial, as a mere assumption logically shouldn't be enough to escalate the ordeal to such an extent. Anyway, everyone in the vehicle was now detained since the officers claimed there was an odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle, so they're now rummaging through the car. Even though the ordeal is already unbelievable, it gets ten times worse when the first officer comes up with a bizarre reason to try and make more arrests. Watch what he comes up with. It's wild. That's the only reason we saw your car. We literally walked up to the car. Yeah, 
And you can request, day, you can request at the all that. Day, at the end of the day, whether he stopped us for resisting arrest, I mean, for uh, uh, Ash a cigarette, he can't okay. resist the rest. I never told him. I never, I never resist. He never told me I was under arrest. He literally we were not even detained. How am I resisting arrest when we're not detained? Never his rights. Never at all. me my rights. Oh yeah, I was never. Oh, I'm on my body camera. On the front of this dollar bill, it's caked in what's now tested positive for cocaine. I can't get it to come off into a bag because every time you try, it sticks to your fingers and it doesn't actually go off the bag. Uh, but I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up. But right here next to. The president's head is the spot where I wiped the bill, and it's now a clean spot. So there's a complete layer of cocaine all the way across the dollar bill, hence why uh, the owner is going to be charged with possession of cocaine. Nice. Who's going to go for it. You heard that right. The officer, after failing to fish for a good enough reason, came up with the most illogical explanation to make an arrest. He claimed that a dollar bill had a white substance on it which tested positive for cocaine. The main part to highlight is how he stated that it's so minimal that gathering it into a container would be impossible. There's a very quick and easy way to debunk this. Going all the way back to the early 90s, research showed that there has been a significant cocaine contamination of US paper currency, and today, 90% of all US bills have traces of cocaine on them. This is an authentic and factual statement backed by research goes to show how tyrannical this officer was. I don't know the scenario, but when an officer asked you to get out, you know he, didn't, he, he asked me for my identification. Listen, I, I never heard of that. I, I never heard of asking a cigarette. Asking a cigarette at the window was illegal. Yeah, yeah. So I told him, I said, can I please? Yeah. What did you Regardless, the point is, he, he said we weren't being detained, and he still pulled me out of the vehicle and oh, handcuffed me that I was not read my rights. Right. Okay, were you asked anything about pertaining to the stop or anything that would incriminate you? He said you? at first that we were we were stopped because some somebody said something about a, a, a drug transaction or something like that. And then he so, said it was because we were asking out the window. Oh, and I'll the officer right there even told me, I said, I said, sir, you know what he did ain't right. And he was like, man, I know, but uh, 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 like, the, kid, not, the big goofy. The well, this female officer just called one of her co-workers big and goofy. Once again, goes to show that there were certainly some undisclosed happenings at this police department. Let's see what else she had to say. I think he was there, but he's, he's a not training. You don't know what he's talking about. Man, I don't know, but I know he was wrong. I know he was wrong. And, listen, and we, listen so I've here. been through this situation before. The sergeant's going to tell me he's going to come talk to me. He's not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm the corporal. I was asking out the so window, ma'am. I was I'm, asking I'm out the window. So, like, here, listen. Hey, I'm supposed to see me. my kids today, dog. Like, and, and this here, was crazy. Sit, sit down. Right, did, you, did you crotch swipe? Yeah. Crotch swipe. You did? I don't got nothing else swear. So I we just don't have to, to talk to somebody. Unless we ask if you, this isn't rightful, sit man. Sit down. Just sit down. If we don't ask you questions pertaining to the investigation, by law we don't have to read you your rights. Because what are you going to say that's incriminating? So just because he didn't read you his rights doesn't mean. Not even that. He opened the door. He opened the door before he said anything. He opened the door and snatched me out. He snatched when when and twisted my arm, snatched me. The, the video is all on, on one of okay, our phones. Wait, they were listen, recording it. I we, asked the stars. We got video too, and okay. we'll review that video. Okay. After what? After I get arrested? Like after I go to jail? I sit in jail? You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't right, bro. Y'all gotta look into this before y'all arrest how me. Old, I'm asking y'all. How old are your kids? I got a, a, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. I, 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 I got my phone. I but my here, phone. listen to me. Regardless, man, you're still in a car with drugs. I don't have drugs. That's that's not my vehicle, and they were not on my purse. I have no drugs. I don't do drugs. I can do drugs. Tests. All I do is smoke marijuana. I don't even have that on me, and I don't have a card. Yeah, I smoke marijuana. That's it. Who cares? But it is what it is. The, the, I just listen. I need my my I got my cigarettes, my wallet, and my phone. I need that. Okay. I'm going to jail. I'll, I'll no make sure. This is, this is, bro, I just need y'all to look into that. We will. Like, we review all the body I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's not like and, and he sees I don't have a warrant. I'm not. I wasn't doing that wrong. I honestly thought that I would get against my law. I really honestly did. That's really what it was, and that's what it all came down to. You think we pull people over just Yeah! Yeah, hell the f yeah, man. I'm sorry. Maybe you not you, you had bad maybe not everybody. Law not, maybe maybe not you, maybe not everybody, but listen, I'm sorry that man, that man was doing it straight. Big and like he he's saying like, oh I'm sorry, look it up, or asking y'all say, why can't you give, give us a warning to go on by our day? You wanna try to see if there's drugs and call that, make another excuse on why y'all pulled it up. How are you gonna say it was for Ashton Cigarette? Then, oh, there was a drugs transaction. There was no call. Did he walk his dog? Come on, man. Yeah, he walked his dog after he slammed me and all that shit. I guess he had a reason to do it. But it, honestly, I'm sorry, but like, all reality, 
I was just actually trying to move it. I see that move. I didn't know that was against the law. In all reality, I understand technically, yeah, maybe I did something wrong that I didn't know about that's getting me arrested right now. Maybe I did. I don't know. So. I said, I don't know all the details to it, like, so otherwise I could explain it to you, but I'm sorry for not knowing everything, but we will, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out and we'll fill you in. Who's that girl to you guys? I don't care. It don't even matter. I'm, I'm, All right, I'm, just sit back here and relax, okay? And your speech is extremely slurred. When's the last time you used cocaine? I don't use coke. I've never used right. coke. This question's like not get us anywhere. You're going to jail. Oh, what are I? Hey, come on. 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 Do you want one of them to drive your car, or should I tell it? Listen, please. The please, last time I'm gonna ask. Please, 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 stop, bro. Come on. Please. Can you listen? Come on. Like, I'm here to talk. I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, and I Can understand. You just listen to me. However, I wasn't here for the uh, entirety no, of the that's not, investigation. There's no coke in there. There's not. I don't do drugs. Okay. Can you look into that. Is that all right for? Listen, listen. Hear me out. So, what I'm, what I'm gonna do? Once all the cameras are uploaded, man, I'll review everything. After okay. I'm already incarcerated. You'll be fine. No, I won't. Dude, that's, if, if I am, if I am, if I'm not being arrested rightfully, that's not fine. Then the that case needs will, to be looked into before I get arrested. Then the case will be dropped. Look at the I was not read my like rights. Before, like I was not read my rights. Mm -hmm. I was not. We were told we weren't being detained. I'm gonna. And I, how am I being? How? And first off, I'm resisting arrest. And where's the other charge? I'm resisting arrest on what charge? What else am I being charged with, sir? Just it's resisting. Not rifle, that's a bro. that's a charge, it's, man. It's not right. Go ahead and say second degree misdemeanor. We'll get you out of here. $100. For what? A resistant arrest? Well, just regular resist, not out. arrest, not nothing. It's just regular resist. Yeah, but can I can I get can I get out during the weekend? Wait, it's, it's the day Friday. Uh, yeah. No release in the day, right? Depends how fast I get them in. Yeah. So. Release in the day? I thought I thought hey, you have to go to court first to get a bond. What is she being arrested for? Uh, possession of cocaine. Do, have, do I have to go to court first to get a, to get a bond? What's that? Do I have to go to court first to get a bond? Okay. No, you have a bond right now. Okay, so I got a question. Uh, why? Yeah. Everybody else had a body cam, but one person that searched the car didn't have a body cam. Wait, what? He doesn't have a body cam. Wait, wait, everyone wait. stop. Okay, can I wait, guess? You know, I have a lot of work to do. But like, I'm going to look into like, it. Can't y'all like, just peep? Like, this is bull, bro. It's I'm bull going to look into it. it Everybody me, calm though. down. Okay? Yeah, All right, listen. Your boys are going to your boys are gonna get you out. You're saying that doesn't matter, sir. Like, I was supposed to see my kids this weekend, bro. You're supposed to pick them up today. All right. A very important question was raised and promptly neglected by the officers. Why did the first officer not have his body cam up and running? Anyway, the driver and the passenger were both transported to jail after this. The driver was booked for possession of cocaine, completely bogus, and the passenger was booked for resisting arrest, completely bogus yet again. No further updates have been made as of the date of this recording. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.